Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sergeant Dr. Muhammad Lukman. Today we will discuss what are the different abdominal incisions. It is very important for undergraduate, postgraduate and nursing students. Today we are going to learn in very easy and simple way various abdominal incisions. This is abdomen. Where will be uh, midline incisions? The midline incision is it starting from zephy sternum up to the symphysis pubis, and we spare the umbilicus for aesthetic purpose. This incision is used for laparotomies, whether it is emergency or elective laparotomy and it is used for transplant surgeries and for tumors. The midline laparotomy incision, you should learn a very specific mnemonic that is 3T. 3T mean trauma, tumor, transplant. For these three, midline laparotomy is used. Other is upper midline incision. Upper midline incision start from ZP sternum up to the umbilicus. Upper midline incision is used for various upper GI surgeries. For example, feeding jejunostomy, gastric surgeries, jejunum. For these type of surgeries, we use upper midline incision. The length of incision is surgeon dependent and it varies from case to case. Then we have lower midline incision. It start from umbilicus up to the symphysis pubis. This incision is used for lower GI surgeries and it is also used for gynecological surgeries and most commonly it is used for if it is a burst appendix or uh, we are uh, needing for toilet laparotomy. It is used for uh, bladder surgeries. Then we have cocker incision. It start from midline, uh, right coastal margin, two finger breadth or two centimeter below the coastal margin. This incision is used for hepatobiliary surgeries, but most commonly this is used for open cholecystic domain, CBD exploration and other hepatobiliary surgeries. The other incision we have great iron that is typically given on the McBurney's point. This incision is most commonly used for open appendectomy, acute appendicitis ki surgery jab hum karte hain, toh hum most commonly great iron incision dete hain on McBurney's point. Where is McBurney's point? It is located on lateral one third and medial two third uh, of the umbilicus and anterior superior iliac spine. We have another incision that is called Rutherford Morrison incision. If we extend the uh, great iron incision posteriorly, then this incision become rather for Morrison incision. This incision is uh, used for right hemicolectomy and if it is given on left side, then it can be used for left hemicolectomy. Large gut surgeries ke liye rather for Morrison incision used hota hai. And uh, it is sometimes also used for difficult appendectomy. We give great iron incision if uh, the appendix is not found and if it, it is difficult then we uh, shift transform the great iron incision into Rutherford Morrison incision by extending it to posterior. We have another incision that is called Finansteel incision. It is given two finger width above the symphysis pubis. This incision is used for c-section various gynecological surgeries even it can be used for hysterectomy this incision is used for urinary bladder surgeries and this is called transverse abdominal incision this incision is used for laparotomy in pediatric age group it is given on transverse position two finger breadth or two centimeter above 
um, uh, umbilicus. We have another incision that is called lens incision. Lens incision is also used for open appendectomy surgeries. We have another incision that is called bilateral coker or rooftop incision. Rooftop incision is used for upper abdominal surgeries, hepatobiliary surgeries, pancreatic surgeries, and stomach surgeries. Whenever we are going to handle a very massive surgery, then we use rooftop or bilateral coker incision. This incision on left side, like coker incision, left subcostal incision this is used for splenectomy we have some other special incision that are disease dependent for example if we have a supra umbilical hernia then we give supra umbilical incision weeping incision if it is per umbilical hernia and it is bulging below umbilical then we give uh, infra umbilical smiling incision on the bulge of the hernia similarly if we have inguinal hernias then we give inguinal incision for inguinal hernia or undescended testes. In previous uh, uh, old days, uh, there used to be a pyramidal incision. Pyramidal incision was used for the uh, leprotomies, but nowadays it has been obsoleted. Hope the lecture you liked. If you found any queries, you can ask in comment section. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.